Supreme Arch Chancellor Sanavris, the results are in from your trench coat vote this weekend. Ah, yes. Tell me, what do the people say? Uh, well, uh, Supreme Arch Chancellor, we have uh, one here for Intruder, uh, one for Modern, uh, we have uh, another for Intruder, a third for Intruder, and a, uh, well, uh, a fourth for Intruder, sir. That makes, um, Intruder is the winner. The Intruder is what the people want to, want to see. So, which, uh, which trench coat are we choosing, Supreme Arch Chancellor? Intruder won the uh, vote, sir. So, our Chancellor, which trench coat, sir? <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Guys, I am so, I am so sorry about this. Oh, but you heard what the Supreme Arch Chancellor said. My my hands are just tied on this. Th this is the one I really want to be using. I'm with you guys 100%, but my hands are just tied here. He wants a classic trench coat. That's it's just what we have to do. I'm sorry. Oh, God, I love the classic trench coat. I mean, uh, oh god, how the Supreme Arch Chancellor loves the classic trench coat, but I'm secretly with you guys on what to use the intruder trench coat, but my hands are tied. I'm sorry. Sorry. Nothing I can do. Right, uh, I also had to make a little uh, graphics change. I noticed there was just a little bit of uh, frame loss uh, in the last recording, so goodbye, medium graphics. Hello, Lou. Uh, yeah. Notice this. Look at this. A little stash down here. Ooh, an ebook. With a few daddles, I wonder. Why the hell do we have a stash in our bedroom? Like. Seriously? Just a little stash in the floorboards. We had a safe before. Okay, what do we have? How not to get yourself killed. Jensen, since there's no point trying to convince you not to do what you're planning to do, I figured I could at least stop you from getting killed too quickly, mate. That is, after all, why you constantly come to me for help, isn't it? Oh man, what a, f what a bloody narcissist, man, this Pritchard is. All about him. Me, 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 me. God. Why well, can't you just think about other people for once, Pritchard? Not like I do. I'm always thinking about other people. This device contains data I've collected, links which may or may not support your theory that extremely wealthy individuals have manipulated events and caused everything bad that's happened to us. Maybe sifting through it will let you find them. Pritchard. Congress under pressure to reconvene human augmentation hearings. The hearings were suspended after a terrorist attack at Sanif Industries claimed the lives of leading researchers. They were kidnapped. Pro-human activists raid Sanif factory take hostages. This marks the second time in six months that an attack has been directed against a biotechnology firm. TYM continues global expansion. The Shanghai-based augmentation developer increased its market share by 7.3% this week by purchasing yet another human enhancement firm. Anti-augmentation riots are up worldwide. The violence began after Picus News released grainy satellite footage of scientists performing torturous experiments on augmented super soldiers. World Health Organization issues worldwide recall of biochips. The recall comes amid reports ranging from minor disturbances to potentially lethal defects. Mechanically enhanced people are urged to visit their local limb clinics immediately. This is just a recap of the last game, isn't it? Chudaro invites everyone to Panchea. Uh, chaos reigns globally. Yeah, Chudaro's, uh does his thing. Recovery hopes dim as global death toll mounts. Densely populated augmentation friendly cities have suffered the most, although the damage has not been confined completely to them. World's number one augmented private military corporation declares bankruptcy. Wow. 
It's got to be Bell Tower, right? Already re reeling from losses incurred during the AUG incident, Bell Tower Associates' fate was sealed when hackers linked to the Juggernaut Collective leaked details of a black site facility. What is this Juggernaut Collective? And who is this Alex? Biotech industry collapses. Hard hit by both the Tiger Act and a variety of new local and international laws, Sarif Industries joined many of its competitors by closing its doors today. Right, that's what Hugh, uh, not Hugh, William Tiger, that's what he wanted all along. He said he was anti-augmentation, but he really just wanted laws put in place for some reason. UN report predicts rise in terrorism, calls for Interpol task force to counter it. That's us, right? To cope with rising violence and racism against OGs, governments all over the world are enacting harsh laws, but these laws will in fact only encourage more acts of terrorism. Well, thank you very much Pritchard for just telling us things we already knew. What else do we have? Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? Whisper chip. Technology advanced listening device created by Janus. Right, that's what we are, uh, we have to put this somewhere, don't we? Where's the... Uh, from Anon74, if you're reading this, Bratan... Bratan... Huh. This is, uh... Oh, what's the guy's name? Quinn, right? If you're reading this, Bratan, it means you got our little welcome package. Good. Now you know what mark to leave if you need to get in touch. Memorize those sites, but use them sparingly. We've got other people using them too. In a few days, the pilot will contact you. You met her once before, Spanish girl with a large sidearm in Detroit. She's solid, trustworthy and very capable. We're getting her false papers and a job at Lebedev Global. Figured you might need someone permanent watching your back. I'm glad you're doing this Bratan, I know you still don't trust us but if we know the TF is tied to our common enemy's activities. Find out how and we'll bring them down together, just like we did with Bell Tower. TF? What's TF? And who's this Spanish girl in Detroit? I don't, remember, I don't remember meeting any Spanish girls in Detroit. Oh yeah, we need to get our augmentations checked out, don't we? Welcome package from the Juggernaut Collective. Oh. Okay, what is it? Exactly. How do we... Spin? How is it? What are these little, like, pickup sites? I guess so. Okay. What are these triangle things? Yeah. Okay, and I think that's it. Yeah. I think that's it. All right. Steve using the head after eating three burritos and forgetting to light a match. That's an incident. 
What happened that fateful day in 2027 was beyond terror any of us has ever seen. Og incident? Try Og travesty. Try Og massacre. How about Og Armageddon? Because that's where we're headed, thanks to the horror of the Illuminati and their humanity front puppets unleashed on the Earth that day. I'm taking the time in this broadcast to remember, not so we can get together and cry about lives lost. I lost people too, and they should never be forgotten. No, I'm doing it because the Og Insa Massageddon is only the first of many horror shows we're about to be subjected to, unless we figure this shit out fast. Remember the Cold War and how we sat on the brink of destruction minute by minute? How we hated the commies and the commies hated us? How they had a way of life that we couldn't fucking stand and it was only a matter of time before they swallowed us up in their ideology and technological superiority? I don't either, actually, but my grandpa used to tell me about those days, and let me tell you, followers, it's starting to sound awfully fucking familiar. Yes, okay. Ooh. Overclock software. I wonder what that does. Oh man. It's it's an okay apartment, isn't it? It's okay. Not great. Oh man, what a shitty neighborhood we live in. Ugh. Gross. What's that? Is that fly around looking in people's windows? That's not cool. Very much not cool. Yeah, this really does have a Half-Life 2 sort of feel. Right, let's read the telly. Police blunders lead to mistrial. Uh, six high-ranking members of the Diwali crime family walked out the courtroom as free men today after it became apparent that state police had, once again, accidentally destroyed evidence in the Malakov sex trafficking case. Yeah. Accidentally destroyed. Accidentally in inverted commas. Uh, how does it? It doesn't lead on to the next bit. Uh, administrative leave while the matter is being investigated. This marks the third case this year in which members of the Diwali organization have escaped justice due to bureaucratic error in an assurance hollow enough to echo through the... Oh, oh, that's it. Okay, just scroll. Whoops. Uh, the judge had no choice but to declare a mistrial once Officer Rehoy Kaba. I'm sorry, people from the Czech Republic, I'm sorry, I'm probably murdering that pronunciation. Uh, this person testified that a handwritten ledger used to track the buying and selling of prostitutes had inver inadvertently been shredded. He added that the police officer responsible for the mistake had been placed on paid administration leave while the matter is being investigated. Uh, so the mayor declared the state is launching an independent investigation into the chain of custody procedures. If corruption exists in Prague, we will stamp it out. Yeah, I don't think so. It doesn't have to feel like you're a broken machine. H2O boost. Where they got the uh, the Og Fighting League by the looks of things. Pop a cola, soft drink. Pop a cola. Rogue arms dealer killed in Dubai. Interpol reports that John Trent, a dangerous ex Bell Tower operative who disappeared during the Og incident, is dead. Trent's body was recovered during a sting operation in Dubai. 
along with his shipment of weapons and banned black market augmentations, he planned to sell the contraband to augmented terrorists using the pseudonym Shepard. There's Eliza Kazan with a new haircut. Can we really call it a haircut? More of a software overhaul. Eliza Kazan with some new DLC. Ah, Detroit, home sweet home. I wonder who that, who these postcards are from. I wonder who's sending us uh, postcards from Detroit. I can't read what that says. Ooh, credit chips. Open blinds. Very nice. Juggernaut Collective, here we go. Interpol case file. The Juggernaut Collective originated in the early 2020s when a hacker named Eli posted a badly written call to arms type message on the dark net. Filled with misspellings and grammatical errors, it invited those disillusioned with the stranglehold one per centaurs have on our world to join him in attacking, exposing, and spoiling their plots. Ugh. Ugh. Eli, it's I before E, except after C. How difficult is that? I before E, except after C, and then all these other numerous places where sometimes it's I before E, even if there's no C involved. English isn't that difficult to understand, mate. <laughs> Honestly. The group first made headlines in 2025 by hijacking atmospheric processors used by a popular weather artist, weather artist? In Paris and sending hurricane force winds to decimate a page industry sponsored event. Around the same time, Eli was replaced online by a new nom de plume, Janus. Efforts to ascertain the real world identity of either hacker have thus far proven... Oh, why do we have to click this? Why? Can't use the arrow keys. Can't use the bloody arrow keys, man. Can't click these here. We have to click next page. That's frustrating. So far proven unsuccessful. Under Janus's leadership, the Collective have become increasingly effective at bankrupting Fortune 500 companies, exposing governmental misdeeds and in general making life difficult for the extremely wealthy. Particularly worrisome to counter-terrorism agencies around the world is growing evidence that the Collective have been recruiting a number of experienced agents, often with black ops expertise, to assist them. This is who Alex is working for. Eli Janus, a master hacker. Is Pritchard involved in this? Good morning, Adam. You have one new message. Oh. David Sarif. David. <sighs> Play it. Adam, it's David. I know it's been a while, but uh, after what happened in Prague yesterday. Look, son. Whatever reason. Don't call me. For not getting in touch these last two years. Well, life's too short. I'm leaving for London soon, but. Uh, you saved his vid call number? Yes, Adam. Just activate your TV system. Did they replace Sarah's voice actor? I hate this mantling thing, man. I feel like I'm playing... I feel like I'm playing... Uh, what was it? Thief? Thief 2014? Miracle of life, the science behind augmentation. Ok, 
God, what is this? Look at this mess. What the hell's going on here? These are the same books I was reading in my last apartment. Have I not finished these yet? Ah, there's our TV. We'll look at that in a second. Oh, we're learning Czech. I see. Very nice. <laughs> oh, look at that. It's, it's, it's Pritchard's script. Do you remember he was writing, he'd pitched, he'd pitched a script about, about a hacker in, uh, in the Human Revolution. And he got some feedback saying that hackers aren't popular, we want more cop stories. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Kuzelny Skritek? I don't know guys, I'm sorry. But there's suspiciously something. There's a dog. Oh shit, what's our dog's name again? Oh, I should know that. Man, we got a much nicer kitchen than last time, though. So. Much nicer. Crapevy pirate. Crazy pirate? How? How? That's not where I want to be. Actually, can we get up on the rafters? <laughs> All right, where were we? Yeah, hey, Jensen, why haven't you packed away your, uh, why haven't you packed away your groceries? Wine. Not just now, it's too early in the morning for that. What is that? Crafting parts, sure. We got some coffee. What's in that bowl? Is that oranges? Or is it cupcakes? Detroit. Baseball from Detroit. That's probably signed baseball from Detroit. Probably from Sarif, I guess. He was a big baseball fan, wasn't he? Okay, Mail. Uh, already question for you. Christian Giroux. Hey Jensen, sorry not to get back to you before this. Being buried in a sea of paperwork and frankly, I'm surprised you're asking. Only met Miller once via the NSN. Seemed more than competent. He was with the tactical assault group in Australia before the incident. Hell of a marksman, so they say. Don't know how he ended up overseeing the Central European office, but then I don't understand how you ended up there either. After Detroit, I figured your SWAT experience and my recommendation would get you in the door. But I thought headquarters would keep you in the States. Sure could use your insider's knowledge of AUG developers to get a handle on the black market suppliers we've been chasing down. Hate to say it, but they're giving us hell. Ah well, adapt and react, right? Anyway, not much more I can tell you about Miller. If you do put in for a transfer, let me know first. Maybe I can pull strings. Christian Giroux, director TF29. We've heard that before. North American Division. So... 
Yeah, why would they send us to the Czech Republic? Why would they send us to Europe? You'd think they would put... you think they would put someone who had language experience here. It seems like we are just starting to learn Czech, starting to learn the basics. You think they put someone who was uh, a bit more fluent in at least, you know, some kind of European language. Specs from Erlson Hugh, an acronym. Germany. Oh, it's not an acronym, it's from a company called Acronym. Adam, thank you for your detailed specifications for the trench coat. As discussed, it will be completed within 10 business days and shipped express. Sincerely, Errolson. Errolson, I salute you. Thanks for taking care of my trench coat. Thank you very, very much. I care deeply about my trench coat. Very, very deeply about it. Peter Chang, you okay? Director Miller said you'll probably come in after a good night's sleep despite what just happened to you. I have no idea why you would do that. If it was me, TF29 is the last place I would want to go right now. Don't let the bunker atmosphere fool you. This place is a target. We're all targets, all caps. I'm not just being paranoid here, okay? You'll understand when we talk in person. P.S. Related to the above thing we need to talk about, I changed your office password. It's now the name of the band on the shirt, Aria War, that time I saw her, the one I told you about. I swear, I'm not trying to be cute or cryptic, I'm trying to be safe. PSS, they're not PPS. Try running through your home smart system interface again and let me know if you're still angry, oh you're still, <laughs> if you're still getting that armory glitch. Latest firmware should have taken care of it. Last thing I'd want to do in your shoes is leave my apartment without bullets. Name of the band on that shirt Aria wore that time? Who's Aria? Oh. Hello, homeowner. From the menu, please select the type of setting you wish to change. Open the open the wall panel, mate. As you wish. As you wish. I love that. Princess Bride. <sighs> all those years, all those years, Wesley had been saying, "As you wish." What he was, what he was telling her was, "I love you." Thank you, thank you, smart home computer system. Thank you. I'll keep you safe. Ooh, ooh, I feel all, ooh, I feel all warm inside. Oh boy. Right. Oh, there we go. We do have a secret stash. Uh, what is this? Stun gun ammo? Nah, but we can sell it. Trank rifle ammo? Same. Nothing there. There we go. Very nice. Let it go. <sighs> Let it go. 40 best Czech recipes. That's cute. Did we read this? In Terror Firma, Task Force 29, the secret fight against global terrorism. On the 21st of March 2028, a chain of coordinated bomb attacks exploded in unsuspecting cities and communities around the world. In that terrifying six hour period, up to 50 low tech but horribly effective devices destroyed lives and terrorised humanity one after the other. Too much too late, it was a tragic reason the world finally heeded. Highlighted by a press already gorging on stories of bloody terrorism, the lack of communication and cooperation between international intel gathering organisations were cited as the primary reason for the March bombings going unprevented. Normally bound and gagged with political red tape, world leaders reached across political fences as international demand for a unified and collaborative solution aligned across the globe. 
In the weeks following, UN mediators urgently proposed an international collective cooperative force with the power to act effectively across borders. Built upon the base of the existing G18, G18, wow, the effort quickly expanded with 11 more political par participants and Task Force 29 was born. Okay, so it's some kind of international task force with all these different countries contributing to it. Okay. This, look, look, this is... Here's what, I'm getting a bit annoyed about this game. They, they've, they've tried to make things cooler, look better, look slicker. I, I get that, right? They, 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 want to, they want to improve the way the game looks and the way the, goof, the game feels. Like, I get that, I totally get that. But... Look how long that takes to change pages. By the time we reach the end of that... There's just a little bit of... You see it? You see this little... I wish it would... I wish it would just change to the page straight away. Rather than have to go through this little thing here. It's li little things like that are starting to annoy me already. What are we like? Two hours in? You know, that's not really a good sign. <laughs> Multi-tool. Aim at a hackable device and hold left mouse button until completion. Oh, is this like... Ah, we can hack any device of any rating, so if we can't get through it, we could just use that device to hack our way in, I guess, is what that is. Guys, I honestly want to wear that. I really do. I honestly do want to wear it, but... You know, you heard the man. Acronym coat. Is that another trench coat? Miller, it's Jensen. No! It's good to finally hear from you, what? Agent. You doing okay? Sorry about the downtime. I'll get to the office as soon as I can, but my augs took a hit during the attack. I need to get them looked at. Of course. There's a lot of work ahead of us, Jensen. I'll see you when you get in. They didn't want to leave the apartment. Dr. Kohler, I need Who's to Who's this? Me. Jensen! Now's actually a really good time for me, like right now! Something wrong? There are some guys in my bookshop. Pissed off the valley gangster looking guys. So... Unless you want bloodshed the day after a terror attack. The front door isn't the most peaceful option. I got it. That's... this isn't what I wanted. What the hell? Now we got the... What the hell's going on here? Okay, well I didn't want to go through the door. I wanted to talk to Sarif. Adam! Thanks for calling me back, son. Don't call me son. Sarif. I heard about the bombing in Prague. It's all over the news. Did anyone you know get hurt? You know me. I tend to keep to myself. I'm surprised you even know I'm here. Interpol call me applied for the job, part of their extensive background checks. I gave you a glowing recommendation. Thanks. What do you want? What do I want? Jeez, Adam. I know I did some questionable things in the past, but a lot's happened in the last two years. To both of us. The hell is that shirt he's wearing? Concede. I'm glad you made it out of Panchea. You've obviously landed on your feet, though. Unlike a lot of other people. I've been lucky. I almost died in Panchea <laughs> waiting for the rescue teams to dig me out. And I lost a lot of time after recovering from my injuries. You went back to Detroit, you saw what happened to Seraph Industries. I gotta look at it, briefly. Humanity oh, man. The potential we offer. 
lashed out, broke into the building, stole what they could, and burned the rest. Those vultures had Thai young medical gobbled up what was left. Sometimes a dream has to die so a new one can rise from the ashes. Yeah, the phoenix. Oh man. Facial animations are... they've gotten worse. Look at him. I don't want to see his beady little eyes. I want his cool sunglasses on. It is a new uh, voice actor for Sarif, isn't it? Right, what about Pritchie? You talked to Pritchard lately? Frank! <laughs> of all of us, I think he's the one who's changed the least. He'd probably tell you there wasn't anything about him that needed changing. I'm sure he would. But when the world transforms itself the way ours has, people need to adapt or get left behind. Frank's freelance now, but he's still in computer security, still in Detroit. I don't know if he'll ever leave. Right, what about Jeanette? You heard anything from Megan? <sighs> After all we went through, I thought she'd stand by me. Still, you know, she always wanted to be at the cutting edge. She didn't see a future for herself in Detroit, so she went to VersaLife. Yep. She moved to Hong Kong? San Francisco. They've got an offshore research facility there named Rokaseka Beach. I'm sure you've seen it in the news. California, huh? I wonder if she's told her mother. You want my advice, son? Write her out of your life. Good advice. I'm damn sure she's written us out of hers. Yep. Bitch. Your message said you were going to London. Casual trip? Or is this tied to the new dream? I'm uh, meeting with the Santa group. Nathaniel Brown and his investors. Santo? They built the Udalek complex, the Og Ghetto, here in Prague. Why are you meeting with them? Brown's got big plans. He wants to focus on real solutions, ideas that look to the future. Y you've heard of the Safe Harbor Initiative? I've heard of Rabia. The walled city he and his company are building in the desert for Augs. What? Rabia's just a part of it. We're talking about self-sustaining, energy-efficient arcologies that can be replicated anywhere on Earth. Cities built by the Augmented for the Augmented. That doesn't sound right. Self-controlled human evolution lives on. It may not seem like it right now, son, but one day Don't call people me. will move on from the incident. And when that happens, we'll be ready for it. I'm glad we caught up, Adam. I've always tried to look out for you, you know. That bombing yesterday. You didn't call to talk about the bombing. Just ask. It's nothing, really. I just need a signature so I can finish filing the bankruptcy paperwork. You need my signature? Yeah. Yeah, apparently there was some kind of bureaucratic mix-up caused by you being declared legally dead for a year. The apartment in Detroit was leased in your name, even though we paid for it. Fine. Send me the paperwork. Thanks, don't... Sarah. don't sign it. I appreciate it. it, really. Goodbye, Seraph. I wouldn't sign that, mate, if I were you. This sounds dodgy as hell. Uh, I just need to change something here. The uh, music's a little bit too loud compared to the, the voice volume. Let's bring it down to about 80. That sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Sarif. Oh, man. I'm trying to get into the story, but... Faces look terrible, man. I don't know if it's just because I'm playing on low settings or what, but... Baseball bat. Is this is what why is this here? Is this security? I mean we've got blades that come out of our arms. Do we really need a baseball bat as security? Or is it sort of a gift? Could be a gift from Sarif. Maybe we like baseball too. I don't know. Absinthe. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit too early in the morning for that, I think. Okay, now I'm ready. Now I'm ready to head out into the world. Do we have a map of it? Guess this is just our apartment building. Here. Oh, there's a shop. Nearby. Okay. Whoa, that's... Poor apartment. Why am I living in a bloody poor apartment? Ugh. I used to live in the bloody Chiron building. 
We we had our own we had our own Johnny. There was a voice that used to talk to me. We had a receptionist. Now I'm in a poor apartment. Life has not been fair for Adam Jensen.